Here I'm just defining the fraction class starting with a preprocessor directive to prevent multiple includes. And it's going to have some private members, specifically numerator, uh, denominator, whether or not it's positive, a function to reduce it to its least common denominator. It's going to need getters, and those const are possibly not being used properly. And perhaps we could add a little extra function for getting it as a uh, decimal. Uh, these kind of bracketed comments like this uh, show up in documentation generators. If you put uh, these multi-line comments uh, right above your class, a documentation generator can easily understand that that's the description for that class. And it's always good to be just totally overboard with comments. I'm a big believer in adding as much semantic information to my code as possible so I can read it later. These are all doing the same thing. This will work with a documentation generator. And right here we'll uh, add something for is positive, the default constructor, and we just basically we copy it all over to the CPP file so we can def uh, define those. Unfortunately, I don't think dev C++ allows you to uh, auto-generate your source function signatures from a header file which would be a really convenient uh, feature we're setting the default value to 0 over 1 and just defining the very simple getters here <coughs> sometimes having these popped out comments helps me a lot <laughs> navigating uh, large source code files and even though these source code files aren't in my opinion very large hundreds of lines uh, in some cases uh, the professor actually still wants some larger ones mono big mono files so this will really help with that kind of stuff especially when you're using a weird editor like this It just looks pretty too, that box. The setters sometimes are slightly more complicated in that they may need validation. There's always the trickiness of remembering what things are named. Uh, numerator can be any number, but we're handling, handling positivity kind of an interesting way with this fraction class. We're not ever storing either the numerator or denominator as a uh, negative. In fact, uh, they could be unsigned hints, actually. Uh, I wonder if C++ allows that, because uh, there's a positive um, number there. Uh, sorry, a positive boolean. So this set sign method uh, will just change that boolean, uh, which indicates the sign of the fraction. So the fraction is uh, its its sign is just controlled by that boolean, rather than either the ints being stored as negative.
Just finishing up the setters. And here I'm writing the reduce function. Uh, fraction is supposed to reduce to its lowest uh, possible you know, whole numbers. And uh, what I'm not really thinking about is that I'm doing this completely wrong and needed to use a actual algorithm and think about it a little bit more about uh, how to find the greatest common denominator and divide it by that. Um, and I was trying this weird iteration method, and I think it catches me in an infinite loop at some point before I track it down and do it the right way. I still haven't quite figured out what I'm doing wrong with these dang uh, const things. Uh, I think I just need to put it in the uh, definition, not just the declaration.